because it just seems like things were not working out when it comes to Blade in their direction. I think your boy Mahersha Ali, the titular character, was going to walk because we got this director that had a boo-boo script. You know, it was trash, had two lackluster action scenes in it. I mean, <laughs> word on the street, Elliot, was this is possibly the worst script that has ever, you know, walked the offices of the executive office at Marvel. <laughs> and um, that, that's just horrible. And that's just horrible. And so we got topic number five right here. Looks like we do have a new director, and this is coming from Variety. Marvel Land's new Blade director with Lovecraft Country's Jan Damage, or Damage. I've never heard of him before other than Lovecraft Country. The, Love, the Lovecraft Country and White Boy Rick director takes the reins of the Vampire Slayer movie from Bassam Tariq, who exits the production in September. He will direct from a brand new script by Emmy nominee Michael Starberry, which is said to be darker than most MCU movies. After Tariq's departure from the project, which was set to begin production in November, Marvel Studios focused on revamping the story and putting the right team in place, ultimately entering negotiations with Dimash. Starboy also replaced the screenwriter Stacy Osai Kofor, who was originally tapped to write this film's script. Damn, Elliot. I forgot all about that. I forgot that she was writing the script. I was happy. It was a sister. Yeah. Yep. I remember <clears throat> uh, we talked about it mm -hmm. on my show. I, you it may yeah. have even been there, man. Oh, and she she is out of there. She is out of there. The sister is no longer part of, of this. So that sucks balls. But mm -hmm. let me let me keep going. Uh, last month, Disney delayed Blade from its planned November 3rd, 2023 release date to September. So two years from now, following the production pause with Demise in place, production on the film, which also stars Delroy Lindo and Aaron Pierce, is set to resume in Atlanta next year. Uh, born in Paris, and that's just a little bit about his background. Um, in addition to his new Marvel duties with Blade, Demise is set to direct and executive produce Scanners, the HBO series. I don't really care about that, but but we got this new director, man, um, Dimash. Um, What do you think, man? Are you... Are you happy with this? Are you sad? Are you disappointed? I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I am. Um, I know some people were kind of disappointed, like, oh, I wanted a black director mm -hmm. to hand Blade. That doesn't really matter to me because, you know, the first few few Blade movies didn't have a black director. This is not. Right. Yeah, all three of them were white directors. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gamoro del Toro did part two. I mean, mm -hmm. like, it's different because Black Panther is black culture. Right, you know, right, so right. you need somebody that looks like us to get the culture right. Right, but this, you know, I don't. I mean, I, of course, I want to see a black director win. Yeah, but yeah, you know, it, it's just not that important to me. And before I pass to you again, that there we go, right there. Yeah, yeah. Marvel Studios new yeah. writer for Blade Here's HBO. Right. Yeah, there, there she is, right there. That was a, a while ago. Mm -hmm. But she's not a part of this anymore. But yeah, man, what do you think about this? Are you are you happy with this director's choice? Or are you uh, are you disappointed? Where where are you lying at with with all this? Um, again, just based on the things I've seen from the from the director, I mean, it seems to be in good hands. Uh, I've seen White Boy Rick, fine film, but you wouldn't watch White Boy Rick and say that would be a great director from Blade. Uh, and I've never seen <laughs> Top Boy, but I have seen you know we love Lovecraft Country, and you know you know bring bring that back one day. Right, man, uh, man. 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 Uh, but uh, based on his episode, which he directed, I believe episode one, which was uh, what Sundown, I think was the title of it. And now that, that episode, which is funny enough, actually involved vampires. Uh, and I don't want to give away too much of it. if you guys haven't seen Lovecraft Country, what are you doing with yourself? Watch it after the, tonight's stream. Uh, but that episode definitely showed us that he he can handle gore and vampires and, and, and all that good stuff. So that gets me excited there. So. Hopefully, and from what I've also understood, I know we just kind of made fun of the director that was previously attached, but <laughs> it is nice to hear there was an article that went out there that he actually, he didn't necessarily get this new director in in, in with Marvel, but he put in a good word for him because he worked with him in the past. So he, you know, when it came to him leaving the project, he, he threw his name in the, in the hat to say, hey, Marvel, check out this guy. He's worked with me in the past. He's a great director. So that is nice that there's that, at least that synergy, that good good faith from one director leaving a project and, and boosting someone help, help, uh, someone else up to get a career opportunity. So I think that was a pretty cool little story. So all I hope be is that they 
can lock this down because it's been three years, y'all, that they announced Blade. So, and it's still so frustrating that it took them. We we announced this three years ago, and Mahershala Ali, two time Academy Award winning actors, just sitting on the sideline like, what? <laughs> y'all got Ant Man three in production. Y'all got you know Captain Marvel two in production, but y'all can't get my film off the ground. There's a little bit of disrespect going on, man. So hopefully, and and also I read that uh, Mahershala Ali will be more creatively involved in this time yeah. go round, yeah. which is good. I think that should have been one of the first calls, but uh, especially with his clout in the industry. So mm. only thing I'm hoping for next, B, is uh, as someone mentioned in the comments, can we get that that more serious blade and, and, and lean more towards the the gore? And I don't know if it's going to be rated R because they, you know, they, they seem uh. to have that locked in the Deadpool world. But we'll see, man. I'm just I'm just hopeful for this movie, and I hope they can stick the landing with it, because Blade deserves all the, the praises and, and uh, the biggest budget and the most complex characters and storylines that needs to be done and handled properly, man. So hopefully they can do that now. Yes, sir. I agree. I agree. Here comes a new challenger! Already, y'all know what that means. Coming to the stage. I lived my entire life waiting for this moment. Indingu and Jadaka! Indiana Cotton Jobu! I found my daddy with panther claws in his chest! Nah, I'm your king. Come on. AKA Larry with Today I Feel Like Killmonger, the rightful ruler of Wakanda. Sir, what's going on? How are you doing, man? How you doing? Oh, man, it's all good. How you doing? How you doing, Elliot? What up, Larry? How we doing, man? Oh man, I'm doing good. I am doing good. Awesome. I love that how, intro, man. Every time I see it, I love it. <laughs> how, how was your holiday, man? How was your holiday? Oh, it was good, man. It's good. I'm still waking up from the food coma, but you know, it's all good. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you didn't know, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like, aka Killmonger, the rifle ruler of Wakanda. His information is on the screen, description of this video, and like always on my channel tab. And Larry, we're on this fifth topic right now uh, for the show. Talking about this gentleman, Jan Damage is the new director of Blade with Mahersha Ali and Del Rolindo. What do you think about this pick? Does it make you happy, sad? Are you somewhere in between? How you feel, sir? I mean, I'm glad that it looks like things are getting back on track and we might actually get this movie. But um, to be honest with you, I wasn't seriously disappointed when there was when there was talk that Mahersha Ali may walk away from this role because if you remember, I thought he was a little too old to take on this role in the first place. You know. The brother's almost 50. I think he's like, I think he's like 48 or something like that, which I think is a little bit too old to start a sort of superhero franchise role. You know, I mean, if you're going to be Blade, I, I think you should probably start with somebody who's like 30, maybe 35. So they have so that you get a good run out of them, you know, because. If you go 10 years, which will very easily happen here in the MCU, this brother's going to be almost 60. He'll be like 58, almost 60 years old when they get 10 years in, you know? Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I I, um, I wasn't all that disappointed when they were talking about he's walking away, but I'm happy the movie's back on track, you know? As far as the director, I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not sure if he's not black. Dude looked like he might be have a little something in him, you he know? Does. Yeah, he, he does. He does. He looks like a light-skinned brother to me, so... L.A., what you think? You got you think he got some uh, chocolate in him at all? Or what you... <laughs> uh, well, I know he's a. I know in his uh, IMDb they say he's a French director, so I know. Uh, I guess he was born in in France. Uh, he's Armenian. He's, Algerian he's, French, or he's French and Armenian, apparently, to his uh, his Wikipedia page. So okay. well, who knows? He might got some some blackness in that family. Oh, really? Somewhere. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to look. Uh, yeah, born in Paris. Okay. Okay. Yeah, seventy seven. Yeah, see if I saw that brother out. I wouldn't even like I, I would probably just dap him up and think he was a brother, you know? <laughs> same, 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 same. You know, you know what bothers the hell out of me, man? It's like when you try to dap up somebody that's not black mm -hmm. and they just butcher <laughs> the whole thing. It's just like don't do it, man. Where, where do we do go it. from here? Like, God dog. Whether it's a dap or I know this is kind of off topic, whether this is a dap or a handshake, it's just like I I don't know. It's just it's just weird to me. I had to say that you know. Um, I got a friend and he just you know, you, you hold your fist up. He he'll do something like yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, man, we got this guy right here. Uh, he got a lot of pre-production shit. Oh, shoot, excuse me. Excellent. Oh, West he's doing scanners. a new. He's doing scanners, huh? Did you what? watch scanners when you were a kid? 
I did not watch. What is that? What are Scanners? Scanners, it was this weird movie where people were like, their heads were blowing up or something. They were like, what? Really? <laughs> I just remember a scene where it was like a newscaster on TV or something. And they got they got hit with the Scanners people and they got they got blown. It was like something like an alien invasion or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, David Cronenberg is a ba- great uh, body horror director. So, yeah, it's it's, it's a wow. I don't know if it's up B's alley. Yeah, though. I'm going to pass on that right there. You know, uh, <laughs> and so I, I can only imagine how those effects were back in the day. But, y'all, we got a we got a director. We got a new release date. We got a director. It's this gentleman right here, the Frenchman. Uh, but hopefully he can come through and save the day and give us, you know, a good black male-led film in the MCU with two times. Academy Award winner Mahersha Ali. Mm-hmm. Sir, we are rooting for you. We are rooting for you. Anyone hey. saying, go ahead. I, You know, I was listening to you guys earlier. You were talking about the woman that was posted that had written and it was apparently that was like one of the worst scripts that had been floating around the MCU offices. And and I, I was wondering, why didn't they just find some of the other writers that had already written some fun, interesting sort of vampire lore scripts and team them up with somebody who does super superhero stuff. Like, I mean, I always like I, we always we always hear about these other sort of team ups, but we don't hear a lot. Like, like in TV shows, there's a lot of team ups for writing. You have a writers room, people collaborate. I don't always hear that so much on the movie side. And you know, people come in later after the script's written, and they and they give their notes. And they tell people to go back and get rewrites. But you don't hear so much about uh, writers rooms for movies. And I think this would have been like a perfect time for you could have taken someone like some of the writers from like True Blood or, or you know, hell, you could have brought in Anne Rice. You know, you could bring in all kinds of different people that have already written good, successful vampire stuff. And then, you know, what's her name? Like uh, like uh, Charlene. What's her name? Charlotte. Charlene Harris. Charlemagne. The one who did. Um, Ah, I think she's the one. She might have been the one who originally wrote True Blood, the books. But mm. you could bring in all kinds of different people. And really make something great and unique that's sort of unexpected. <laughs> right, right. Uh, Larry, that's a good question. Um, my my answer to that is I think they try to bring in new, inexperienced, but competent people so they don't have to pay them much. Mm. Um, I don't have anything to back it up with, but, you know, we've all heard how cheap Disney is can be, you know. Uh, Kevin yeah. Feige side of it is all nice and sunshine and rainbows, but that business side can get pretty cutthroat. So if mm-hmm. you're bringing in a bunch of no names and they never done nothing or heard of anything before, then you don't have to pay them yeah. much. But that <clears throat> it does make sense. Uh, I don't know. I, I think they should have maybe they already do, but like a well, you have to pay them just like a well, no, I was gonna say in house writers like a McFeely, but. I don't know. Maybe I would have that. Elliot, you got anything else on that? Um. Well, uh, I would imagine that they probably don't bring in some of the more uh, established writers or sometimes directors because they want to reintroduce uh, a new mythology, right? If you do have someone that's used to making vampire lore, they might infuse, like someone might walk out and say, that felt like a true blood. Like, why don't they just make it something? So sometimes when you have all that steeped in lore mythology and so used to writing a certain genre, uh, you might impose your you know, lore from another project like True Blood and infuse it in MCU and everyone thinks it's a copycat. So probably they want to bring some new people in to recreate a mythology and lore and not have that baggage of having all that preconceived stuff that they've worked with for their half of their career. So new blood, you know, originality and stuff like that is probably why they're choosing someone new. And that's and that's exactly why I think that it would work well if you had a writing team for mm-hmm. something like this, because you can't, I, I, I get exactly what you're saying. You don't want too much of that writer's previous personality in this particular script, but that's mm-hmm. why you have those other people to sort of filter some of that out yeah. and add yeah. some stuff in so that you don't, maybe you get some of that, but you don't really feel it. Like yeah. what's his name? Um, Eric Kripke that did uh supernatural. I think he would be great for blade. You know, you might have to bring some other writers in so it doesn't feel like a supernatural episode as you, right. you know, you alluded to, but I think he would be great for that. So he's, he's he's busy. I, I don't want him nowhere near the MCU because he's doing the boys right now. He's doing a great job with the boys. Right. So <laughs> I don't want him to, to leave that project. <clears throat> uh, my something just made me mad. Um, shout out to Kimberly. She just sent me a lovely um, DM about something that I needed to hear. And so I can't I uh, can't wait to have her back. Um, share it. 
Uh, I, well, can I show this? <laughs> yeah, it says be dis. Hold on, be disciplined about what you respond. Okay, be disciplined about what uh, you respond and react to. Not everyone or everyone deserves your time, energy, and attention. Stay in your fight. Oh no, stay in your light. So uh, thank you, Kim. I sent her. Uh, I'm yeah. I, I made a video. Uh, about Black Panther Wakanda forever, and I was gonna post it, uh, but I didn't, and we had to talk about it. And so she, um, you know, was holding mm -hmm. me down. She was holding me down. But anyway, uh, but guys, um, well said from both of you, and I want to, uh, I thank you for that. Everybody also in the comment section. But guys, let us know what you think, and if you're watching this via live on the replay, uh, please uh, let us know what you think down below. Uh, for uh, Man, I'm I'm sorry. I was just throwing off. For give me a second. Very no, good. Actually, I got a question for you and Larry and everyone in the chat. Do you think we'll see Blade prior to his film? Because we all know Eternals. His voice was in the movie, but do you think we'll see him before this uh, this film comes out? What 2025 was the new date for the new Blade? You think we'll see him? 20, before? Uh, no, 2024. 2024. Okay. So do you think we'll see him prior to the, his actual film? No. Only, I think no. only if, I think there's a possibility if there's a good script at that's ready to go and Mahershal is happy, then he can feel safe to say, okay, now you can show me. Now you can put mm -hmm. me in there and show me. Because otherwise, he doesn't want to be put in a position where he has to back out and now they're really pissed because they're like, hey, you just showed up and now all of a sudden we have to switch you out, mm -hmm. you know? So right now, there's just all these rumors. He signed on, yada, yada, yada. If for some reason, things are switched up. No right. one's ever seen him as Blade. It's not going to be a big deal. So mm -hmm. okay. I think they'll wait until the working script. I would. I mean, I would love. I would have loved to have seen him in Internals if they would have just panned the camera and showed him. That would have been great. Um, but I can't even think to stand to my own. I can't even think of a project that he would fit in prior to that movie coming out that would uh -oh. feel like a Blade introduction or to put him in. You know, we, we don't really have any supernatural movies or shows coming up unless uh, Agatha. Um, Covenant of Chaos, we're dealing with witches, so there might be vampires walking around. Uh, I know Ironheart's supposed to have a sorcerer that is messing with Mephisto, so I don't know if he'll fit into that narrative. Hell, Daredevil, mm -hmm. born again. I don't know if you get Blade somewhere in that show, but we'll see. When are um, all these coming? The Which ones? All of them. I keep hearing about them, but I feel like oh, they, they seem like they've been announced. Or it seems like they're so far off. It's like next year, Larry, we're about to get hit with so many projects. Ironheart, like I just mentioned, Kat, uh, Agatha, her show. We're getting, I think, six movies and six shows, so like a total of like 12 different projects just from Marvel okay. alone. Oh, so, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So, superhero fatigue. Uh, we'll see if it's a real thing come next year. Now, B, I have to ask you a question because I didn't see it on your list today. It surprised me, which was the. Uh... The uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. Uh, yeah. What about it? I didn't see it on the list. If you talking for you to talk about it? Yeah, I was gonna address that uh, towards the end of the show. And so, oh, okay. Uh, if you don't mind, I can talk about that after the last topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but guys, again, if you're watching this via live on the replay, uh, please let us know what you think down in the comment section below. We are loving to uh, hear all of your thoughts.